Thank you for selecting a Pulsa Feeder Pulsatron X chemical metering pump for your application. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual provided with your pump and always adhere to all local, state, and national codes. Check the product marking on the nameplate and ensure it complies with the hazardous locations requirements for the site. Before installing, ensure the area is safe and free of combustible gases or dust and be sure to use appropriate personal protective equipment such as gloves and eye protection to keep you safe in the event of contact with your chemical. A qualified hazardous location electrician will be needed to wire the pump for power and optionally remote control either the 4 to 20 milliamp signal or external pace input. Hazardous location rated conduit and fittings are required in combination with ceiling fittings mounted within 18 inches of the pump. The pump may be mounted either above the liquid level, which is called a suction lift condition, or below the liquid level, which is called a flooded suction condition. The liquid level in the chemical tank should always be below the injection point to the system to prevent a condition called siphoning, where liquid can flow directly from the tank into the system. If this is not possible, an anti-siphon device must be used on the discharge side of your pump. Your pump must be mounted to a secure surface to prevent tipping during operation. Install fasteners appropriate for the mounting surface in the four holes of the pump foot. These are not provided with your pump. Open the packaging and inspect the contents for any shipping damage. If damage is noticed, please contact PulsaFeeder immediately. The pump is provided with all the connection accessories needed for installation. The carton contains these items. 4 foot length of flexible tubing. 4 foot and 8 foot lengths of stiff white tubing. Injection valve assembly. Bleed valve assembly. Foot valve with strainer. Ceramic weight. Confirm that the supplied materials are compliant with the site-specific hazardous location requirements before proceeding. Let's get started with installation. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the four pump head screws. Head materials can relax during shipping, causing the screws to loosen. There are no tools necessary for tubing connections. They should only be made hand tight. Slide the valve coupling over the flexible tubing and push the tubing onto the suction valve. Push up the coupling to engage the threads on the suction valve and tighten the coupling as firmly as you can by hand. Measure and cut the end of the suction tube to allow the foot valve strainer assembly to hang within an inch of the bottom of the supply tank. Slide on the weight and then the coupling onto the tube. Push the tube onto the suction valve and tighten the coupling by hand. Place the PTFE gasket on top of the discharge valve. The bleed valve assembly is screwed down onto the discharge valve hand tight. The four foot section of stiff tubing will run from the connection on the side of the bleed valve to drain back into the chemical supply tank while priming the pump. Slide the coupling onto the tubing and then press the tubing firmly onto the bleed valve. Engage the coupling with the threads and tighten by hand as firmly as possible. Cut the other end of the tubing to the appropriate length to allow it to pass into the chemical supply tank. Slide the coupling onto the discharge tubing and press the tubing firmly onto the top of the bleed valve, then tighten the coupling by hand.
If the pump is feeding directly into an open system without a pipe connection, the injector must be used as it provides the minimum back pressure required for the pump and is a barrier preventing the system fluid from mixing with the chemical in the discharge tubing. Before installing the injection valve, the NPT threads on the injector should be wrapped with PTFE tape before insertion and tightened moderately tight with a small wrench. Cut the discharge tubing to length, slide the coupling onto the tube, then press the tube onto the injector nipple and tighten the coupling by hand as firmly as possible. Your hazardous location electrician must hardwire power and control connections located on the opposite side of the pump. Set the selector switch to the off position before making wiring connections per instructions. Any unused conduit openings must be closed with a plug rated for the hazardous location. Your pump is now ready to put into service. Thank you for purchasing a Pulsatron X metering pump. If you have any questions, please reach out to a Pulsifeeder technical service technician or your local Pulsifeeder sales contact.